This is the Viking Model F deluge valve used with the uh, Easy Riser check valve uh, to create the single interlock pre-action system. Now this single interlock pre-action system is electric release and we'll be using the detector to send the signal to the VFR 400 to in turn send the signal to the 24 volt uh, solenoid to release uh, the prime water that's holding the valve closed. To trip the system we'll use our magnet test here Our riser has tripped, but now we get uh, activation of our fire sprinkler. So we'll use the trip test connection to uh, release that air pressure. Now the air pressure in this system isn't holding the water back. Um, it's simply just in the piping as a supervisory purpose for the single interlock reaction system. Shut the system down. We'll go ahead and secure our system control valve. As we're securing the system control valve, we'll get a supervisory signal from the VFR 400. So we have our system control valve secured. We'll go ahead and silence that. Now we have uh, two drains in the back. We have the uh, flow test connection on the bottom. And we have our system main drain on the top. So we'll get that open. And then over here on the right, we have our outlet chamber drain. So with our three drains in the open position and our system control valve closed, the uh, riser will finish uh, draining down and the riser will be shut down completely. We can go ahead and secure the air pressure. So we're not trying to build air pressure. And uh, we'll leave the prime water pressure We'll leave that in the open position here, so that prime valve is in the back. So that way, if we're going to go ahead and uh, restore the valve, we don't need to close that. However, if the valve will be shut down for uh, an extended period of time for repair or whatever the case may be, then uh, we'll want to close that so they're not wasting water. So in this scenario, we'll leave that, uh, that valve in the open position. To restore the single interlock uh, electric release pre-action system with the Model F uh, deluge valve and the easy riser check valve on the top. The first thing we're going to do is we get our air pressure reestablished. Now our air pressure here is only for supervisory purposes. So it does not perform an operational function. However, it's good practice to simply stick with getting the air pressure back on and kind of keeping with the theme of air pressure, prime water, and then uh, city water. So we have our main drain closed in the back here. Uh, our D2 air maintenance uh, device over here so that valve is in the open position. I'm going to secure the trip test connection. So we're going to get that in a closed position here. And with that in the closed position we'll see our air pressure start to build. Now our air pressure for this riser is 20 psi and we're only at 20 psi because again the air pressure is only for supervisory purposes not for operational function. With our air pressure reestablished and our system prime valve in the open position um, that prime water is flowing through and is basically at this point being sent to drain. Now our VFR 400 panel and our detection is still an alarm, so it's causing the 24 volt solenoid to be in the open position so that water is going to drain. To close the solenoid, we're simply going to reset the VFR 400 panel. And with the VFR 400 panel reset, we'll see our prime water pressure reestablish over here on our gauge. Now our prime water pressure has been reset, but we still have a supervisory signal because we have our system control valve in the closed position. So we're going to silence that. And then uh, to get the city water or the water supply restored to the riser, we're going to close our outlet chamber drain. We're going to take our flow test connection here in the back and partially close that. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our water supply valve. As we get some water flowing here, Give it another turn or so. We'll go ahead and close the flow test connection the rest of the way. That'll get our water supply gauge, uh, some pressure on our water supply gauge here. And then we'll go ahead and open the system control valve the rest of the way. With the system control valve all the way open, we have the riser restored. We have air pressure. We have prime water pressure. We have our water supply back to the uh, riser itself. We're going to hit the reset button on our VFR 400 
and then our panel will be completely clear and restored and our riser is finished.